This just in, Beardos. There's some breaking news out of Utah. Utah? Really? Are you sure? Okay, out of Utah. Scientists have long theorized about why men grow beards, but recently researchers from the University of Utah have determined that we may have evolved the ability to grow beards in order to protect ourselves during a fight. You see, men were not always as civilized as we are now. Yeah, okay, okay. Men were not always as civilized as some of us are now. The ancient world was a harsh and unforgiving place which gave its inhabitants many reasons to turn to violence, which included protecting your family and property, competition over food and resources, and securing your territory. So, evolution took its course. Yes, evolution. I know there are some of you out there that don't believe in evolution, but thankfully, science doesn't need you to believe in it for it to be true. So, for real, evolution. Also, Charles Darwin was a righteously bearded guy. So there's that. Anyway, so evolution took its course, and we evolved traits to make us more successful in our violence. These included upper body strength, stronger bones, and now apparently, beards. You see, when fighting each other, men tend to target the face up to 92% more than women do. And this was particularly debilitating before modern medicine, when a broken jaw meant that someone couldn't eat and would probably die. To see how our beards work in a fight, we must turn, once again, to science! The scientists created synthetic jawbones and then covered them with sheepskin with three different hair conditions. One where the hair was plucked out, one where the hair was shaved off, and one where the hair was left intact. These were meant to represent three different levels of beardedness, having no beard, having a short beard, and having a full beard. Each jawbone was then subjected to a forceful impact. 100% of the plucked condition bones broke, 95% of the shaved condition bones broke, and only 45% of the bearded bones broke. The scientists concluded that having a beard gives us an advantage in a fight by protecting our jaws from being broken when struck to the face. The scientists discovered that beards have the potential to absorb some of the energy of a blow to the face. They also discovered that beards spread out the impact force over a longer period of time, lessening the amount of force delivered to the face at any one single point in time. This is the same as the difference you would feel between punching a wall, or if you punched a wall with a pillow on it. It's also the principle that governs the soft landing you feel when you jump into bed and the protective capacity of motorcycle helmets. Though we know now that beards may have evolved in order to protect us during physical altercations, under no circumstances should you put this theory to the test. Remember, 45% of the samples still broke. Also, nobody likes a bully. So let's just wear our beards as a proud vestige of the hard life our ancestors had to endure in order to pave the way for our current life of comfort. Well, that brings us to the end of another exciting beard video. My beard and I would like to thank you for spending some time with us today. If you enjoyed our time together, like, comment, and subscribe below. To all you beard aspirers and beard admirers, my beard and I wish you safe travels, and we'll see you in the next video.